So how do we go from a completely blank page on website C to a beautiful page with four sections just by copying and pasting a couple of sections from website A and another couple of sections from website B? Well, that's precisely what I'm going to show you today with the power of Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. Okay, so Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor released a new feature called Cross-Site Copy-Paste Elementor Content. And I was so happy when I got that email, you know, I saw it and immediately I went to, to go check. Um, now, actually, I already have that feature in another add-on pack, so I'm already using it. But I think that it's not possible to buy each and every add-on pack out there for Elementor. There are so many and so many goodness in all of these. I mean, in most of these. But um, in case you already have Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, maybe you just bought the single um, license or multiple licenses, or maybe you got the full pack with Astra and all the, the plugins they have. Now, that's the great news because if you already have the license, then you can start using right away. So the principle is pretty simple. Um, up to here, you can only copy and paste items like sections, images within the same website. Now, except from... Uh, from uh, the other add-on packs that offer that, but I think it's only the, um, the second add-on pack to offer that. Not really sure. Um, so basically now what you can do is go from domain A to domain B, even domain C, and we're going to have a look at that. So here I have uh, the front end of website C, as you can see here in the corner. So that's website C. And I've already opened uh, Elementor. So this is website C. Here we have website B and here we have website A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the uh, navigator uh, in each of these windows because it's gonna be helpful. And I'm also going to show you the media library. So currently I only have uh, the website logo, which is this one here, website C. Okay, so once again, this is our front end for the moment. So now let me show you quickly. So I'll start with website A and I'm going to copy the first section. So I just right click. So let me see if I can make this bigger. So I'm just going to right click and select UAE copy. Okay. And then I'm just going to move to website C. So before I can actually paste the section that I copied with the ultimate add-ons, I need to create a first section just to have something and then I can right click and now you see here I have UAE paste so I'm just gonna paste that and there you go so it's downloading the image the only thing that it does not do well I didn't test everything you know I tried to test it as best as I could but what I noticed is that it doesn't keep the same uh, font for example it won't keep the same fonts now on those three websites I have the same setup uh, using uh, the same font so it looks exactly the same but if you have uh, you start with a new uh, fresh install and you I don't know you use another font uh, then it would you will pick up the new font but still you get the structure you get the images and everything so just bear that in mind so we have our first section let me move to website B I'm going to copy the first section here so UAE copy right click UAE paste so now I have a couple of sections starting to take shape let me go back to website A and let me copy the second section so UAE copy and now you know the drill UAE paste Okay, and the last one from website B, the second section, UAE copy and UAE paste. Okay, so let me update. Okay, so let's refresh our media library. And as you can see, it downloaded all the images. And now if I go to the front end, let me refresh. Okay, and now we have our page that was created in very little time.
Now, of course, you already had the sections from the other websites, but you get the idea. If you create your own library or you want to reuse parts of other websites, well, up to here, you could still do it. You had to export and re-import, and now it goes way faster. So we went from this to this, and it can be a good starting point uh, just to kickstart a new project. And of course, it also works responsively, so it keeps all the settings. So that's working well on the mobile too. Um, I'm really thrilled that uh, this feature is now available um, with Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor. So that was a quick video. Uh, I hope you learned something today. I know I'm definitely gonna have fun uh, with this because uh, I actually like using that plugin on, uh, on a lot of websites. You know, it's always a matter of you can't install all the add-ons on each and every website you create. So what I do usually is uh, I just go and check, okay, which features do I need? Then I look at what I have in my um, tech stack. And, and then when I've found like one add-on pack that has several of the features that I need, then I will pick that one because I don't want to install like two, three, four, five add-on packs. And I often use Ultimate Add-on, so that's a really, really good news. Thank you.